What's going on? It's your boy DJ TLM. Welcome to DJ TLM TV. Right now, I'm in the process of selecting vinyl for my upcoming all vinyl stream every last Monday of the month. Check the info in the description box down below. But since I'm on the subject of vinyl, I want to talk about something I've been wanting to talk about for a while. This is my new vinyl bag by Tucker and Bloom. It's a backpack for vinyl, and this is something I didn't have. And I want to shout out Tucker and Bloom. They reached out. They wanted me to check out this bag. So full disclosure, they sent me this bag for free, but they did not see this video before I released it. And we did not discuss what I'll be saying in this video. So I want to show you the bag, go through some of the pros and cons, and let's just start with the look of the bag. It's a nice sleek backpack. And this is the Rhodes 93 backpack. They have a normal version. The 93 version has this nice suede. Love the look of that suede. It's a ballistic nylon. And even though I haven't field tested it, I can already tell this is good, durable material. Now, of course, since it's a vinyl bag, it's gonna be wide enough to carry your vinyl. And that's something I didn't really have because my normal backpacks they can fit a lot of stuff, but most of them are just not wide enough to carry vinyl or they're barely wide enough. And when I put some vinyl in there, I could tell it's gonna warp if I leave it in the bag. So that's not good for your vinyl. So let's start with the front pocket and you get a large front pocket. And I use this to hold my headphones, even though I believe that's not what it's for, but there's plenty of space in there to use it to hold your headphones. But if you have a black bag for all bag companies out there, make sure the inside has a light colored lining. So here, the inside is nice and bright because when we're in a dark scenario, a dark situation, like a club, black on black bags don't work. I have plenty of old DJ bags that were black on the outside, black on the inside. Anytime I had to find a cable or a plug, it was a daunting task. This makes it much easier. So you have a large compartment here and it could easily hold headphones or some other gear. And then they have this nice organizer to hold anything from business cards to some cables or maybe even a phone. You can put a lot of different stuff in here, but it has a nice divider for that. Now, all the zippers on the back are YKK zippers. So quality zippers on the back, that is always a good thing. This pocket right here is like your small pocket for valuable items. And I call it a small pocket, but it's not really a small pocket. You have a lot of room in here. Anything you wanna have easy access to, and we'll fit in here. And again, you got the nice light lining going on there. So the only thing I did notice with this front pocket is there's a little bit of extra material here from the lining that gets a little bit too close to the zippers. So sometimes when you're opening or closing, you have to pay attention that the material doesn't get stuck in the zipper. Otherwise, you'll have to untangle that for a second. It doesn't happen often, but it would be nice if that would just have been a little bit tighter so the lining doesn't get close to the zipper. On top of the zipper, you have this nice little protective flap that goes over it so that will actually make it a little more weatherproof because the bag itself the zippers aren't waterproof i believe but it definitely feels weatherproof and this will help for sure all right then we get to the main compartment this has the ykk zippers but you get two and these can line up so you could actually lock it you could put a lock through it if you want to be extra secure they open up to the side not all the way down so it's not like a clamshell thing but they open wide enough and since the material is nice and soft you could actually just flap it open like that have all the room now now we're gonna do a vinyl count in a second to see how many pieces of vinyl we can actually fit in here. And a cool detail, you have this material right here that really feels like it's a waterproof material that goes all the way to the sides in here as well and also runs through the entire back part. So I believe this is something that will make the top of the bag a little more waterproof. Now compared to a normal vinyl bag, this is actually more like a modern backpack because they added a separate feature here. You have a nice laptop sleeve, a padded laptop sleeve will hold up to a 13 inch laptop. And very important, the laptop sleeve doesn't go all the way down to the bottom. There's just a little bit of space there. So when you put the bag down, your laptop is not touching the floor. Now it's closed off by this little flap, but that's also a pocket. So you have Velcro that secures the laptop part. And then you have this nice compartment. You could put cables in here. Uh, I currently have a hard drive in here. Now, of course, chances are I'll be using this bag mostly for other purposes because I'm not doing a lot of vinyl gigs. 
So I'll use this if I wanna carry some vinyl around or if I'll go vinyl shopping. But besides that, there are gonna be plenty of times that this bag could be useful as it is a little bit smaller than my larger tech bag and DJ bags, but it still has plenty of space and organization. I'll use the front pocket, well, for a scarf. And then we have our organization. So I have extra ND filters, microphones. I have some wireless go microphones. I have lavalier microphones and I could have put extra cables in here. I brought my sunglasses and I could fit like a ton of stuff in here. I have a hat in there, we'll take that out. I have my GoPro hard case with two GoPros. I have my tech pouch, which is also a Tucker and Bloom pouch. Very nice materials. I have cables. I have my tube light, I have a tripod, adapters, so a ton of stuff in there, but this could easily fit twice as much. A camera pouch with an M50 and a Rode Video Micro and some extra cables in there. This is it's like a toiletry kit, which has everything from deodorant to anything I might need to stay fresh. And just for the flavor, got some brain power vinyl in there because vinyl will fit in the bag. And, oh, and I almost forgot my uh, hard drive here, my adapter here, and my iPad Pros in the back. So there's a ton of stuff in here, and I could have fit a lot more in here easily. Like way, way, way more. I have a ton of space left, like really, I could have fit so much more in here. Easy to find, easy to organize. Same here, so much room besides the, the sunglasses. Now before we do the vinyl count, let's take a look at the back. You have these nice sturdy handles. They feel pretty comfortable. I haven't done a proper test to see how they feel after long-term use. You get the mesh back. Now I would prefer if the back was not one straight piece because this will lay flat on your back. So it's always better if you have like a little compartment in between where airflow can go through. But then again, that's only an issue if you do longer carry. So let me show you how it looks on the back. Let's turn this into a little fashion show. So on my case, I'm 6'1", to give you an idea of how big the backpack is. And again, you got that nice little suede accent going on there. Uh, and it feels really comfy to wear. Now it doesn't have the extra strap to connect these two parts. I like that on bags, especially if you fill them up because that'll give you some extra support. So you don't have that here, but overall these straps are nice and wide. So it does feel like it'll hold well. So they also added this little strap right here so you can hold the bag. I only wish they would have made this a little bit bigger because in my case, I can only fit like two fingers in here. So if this bag is full of vinyl, it will get heavy and I would prefer to have a handle that could just fit my hand. That will give you better grip and this could hurt your fingers after a while, but at least there's something there. So if you would have this on a plane, you would have it in an overhead compartment. You have something that you can grab it by. So it's better than nothing, but I prefer to have it a little bit bigger and more comfortable. Let's do the vinyl test. Let's do a vinyl count. So to make the scenario a little bit more real life, I will add my headphones in here just because I would have headphones on me. While we're at it, let me just add my needle case, just place it somewhere in the bag as well because the front compartment and that top compartment, they do take up some space from the main compartment. So normally in a situation, you would have something in these pockets. So I'll put something in there now. So right now I'm up to 35 pieces. I might be able to fit one or two more, but I have 35 in here. That's not completely fair because I know there's at least like five or six sleeves in here that are holding two copies. So I think we're getting closer to having like 40 records in here, something like that. And at the moment you can still easily close the bag and I could fit some more stuff. I could fit my cables in here just fine. Now they did add some side pockets, but these are not like water bottle size pockets. They're also not that deep. So I don't know what you would put in here. Something has to be very small, otherwise it's gonna stick out. I would be afraid someone might take it. Same thing with the other side. So I could put my phone in here, but I would never do that because it's sticking out. If I hold the bag sideways, it might fall out, but somebody could definitely steal it. Maybe if I had like a small tripod, I would put it in the side, something like that. We could try that for a sec. So for some reason, I wanted to bring something like a pixie here. I mean, that would fit. I don't think that's gonna get stolen that easy. So that would fit as well. This can fit in here, but then you are reaching the limits of the bag. So one more thing I wanted to test, which I feel is important, and that is if the bag will stand up straight. Now at the moment it is standing, but with the slightest touch, it does tend to fall over. That's one thing I would like to see on the bag 
a little bit more stability so that when you put it down, you get somewhere, you put the bag down, you can leave it and not have that happen. Because in this case, I would have to make sure I place the bag against something. So that is something I would like to see, something at the bottom that could give it that's just that little bit of extra stability. So this would be a great option if you wanna carry a couple of pieces of vinyl or you're going vinyl shopping. This bag will serve you just right. If you do gigs and you don't need a lot of pieces of vinyl, I know for some house DJs that works. I remember back in the days, some DJs would carry like one little record bag for their gig that night. It always blew my mind because I would have like two to three large crates. So for me, a bag would not be enough for a normal gig. But if I wanna carry some vinyl, or like I said, sometimes I wanna carry vinyl from the house to the studio or back, this will work just fine. Really liking this bag. So there is one more thing I wanna talk about, and this is also from Tucker and Bloom, and this is something I specifically asked for. So I agreed that I would test the record bag, but I told them like, hey, I checked your site, and I saw this one bag on the site, this small messenger bag, I really, really, really want one. Since I have it, and this is my daily carry, I thought, let me just mention it in this video, even though it's not a vinyl bag. So this is a mini, messenger bag, sling bag, and this is my daily carry. I love using this. It has a nice size main pocket, which has really surprised me. Again, even though it's not a record bag, you got a nice light color in there, so it's real easy to find stuff. And this holds way more than you think. The messenger bag also has material on the inside that feels as if it could be waterproof, but at least it's gonna give you something that is really weatherproof. It definitely feels that way. Plenty of space there for the main pocket. And then you have your little extra pocket right here. There's an extra pocket in the back that's nice and deep. And on the front, we have this buckle to lock a separate section, which can also hold quite a few things. And I'm, I mean, I love the army fatigue style. I love the camo. So I saw the camo, I was like, that is the one. It feels very comfortable when I wear it, but let me just show you what I mean when I say this holds more than you might think. Now trust me, it's a little bit of a random selection, but let's just see what happens here. I still have plenty of room left. I could add more stuff here. I could add more stuff to the back. I could add something to the side. So let's just say I'll also bring my keys. I'll put my keys in here as well. That just fits so easily. If I didn't want to put this on the outside, it would easily also fit in here. Time for the fashion show. Let's do that as well. So you can either carry it like this, have it behind you, or just carry it on the front. You could also make this shorter, so you can have it up higher if you prefer to do that. But I mean, I'm loving the style, so I just wanted to mention that bag because this is my favorite bag. And for all DJs out there who do the CDJ gigs and you don't have vinyl, or you don't have laptops and stuff like that, so all you carry is your flash drive and headphones and maybe, I don't know, your sunglasses or whatever, this will work perfect. So again, a big shout out to Tucker and Bloom. If you wanna know more about these bags, make sure you check them out. The link will be in the description box down below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like the video, share the video. If you're new to my channel, or if you're not subscribed, even though you've been watching, consider subscribing because it really helps out the channel. Activate the notification so you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. I'll be back soon. Thanks for watching. Peace.